I'm Anil Kumar and here is part 2 of writing numbers as decimal tens. Now before we get into the details, let us review what tens is. So on a place value chart, what we have is, we can have numbers ones, tens and hundreds on the left side of decimal, right? Let us say the decimal point is here. In that case, numbers on the left side are ones, and then we have tens, and we have hundreds, right? On the left side of decimals. On the right side, we have tens, one out of ten. That is what we call as tens, right? One out of tens. If we move on, then we get one out of hundreds, right? In this video, we will discuss numbers still. Tens. So if I write a number here, it becomes tens. For example, seven tens. Seven tens means that we have a number in tens place, right? That's a place value chart. So the number will be 0.7. So that is the number which is seven tens. Twenty-seven tens. Now that is kind of tricky. Now in this place I have to put 27 but I can place only one number. What happens to 2? That is what we should think about. So what we can look into, let's look into it once again. 27 tenths. What does it mean? It means 27 over 10. right? So 27 tenths. Right? So when you divide 27 by 10 you get 2.7. Does it make sense 27 tenths? Yes, it does, right? So, 27 tenths is 2.7. Take a moment to understand this part, right? So, that's another way of writing 27 tenths, 2.7, right? Now, we have another very interesting case, which is 2 and 9 tenths. Whenever we say and, it means the decimal point. So 2 comes before the decimal point and 9 tenths is afterwards. So we can write this number as 2 and means decimal here and 9 tenths. So 2.9 becomes your number. I hope you get it, right? So let me extend this and then we can follow this pattern to fill in all other words as decimal numbers okay i like you to pause the video and do rest of the questions on your own and then you can compare the answers right so now we are at two we have already done two and nine tenths which is this right two and nine tenths now you have to do 25 and six tenths and means a decimal point right 25 and 6 tenths. So 25 comes on the left side. So we have 25 and 6 tenths. That makes sense, right? But it becomes tricky when I write 25 tenths. Always like that. 25 tenths, both here, 25. So when I'm trying to write 25 here, 2 spills over. So I can write this as 2. 0.5. So that becomes 25 tenths. You can understand it as 25 over 10. 25 tenths, which is 2.5. That is how you write it. So in this part 2, we kind of mixed up the numbers with and. So we can say a number in two different ways. We can also say this as 2 and 5 tenths, which is same as 25 tenths. Do you understand? Okay, 207 tenths. So this time it is 207 tenths, means divide by 10. 207 tenths. When you divide 207 by 10, you get 20.7. So 20.7. Now, look at it from the other angle. 207, since 7 ends in the 10th place, we call it 207 tenths. That is how you can rename 
your numbers. I hope you are getting the concept. 440 and 4 tenths. So this is clear. And 4. So and means decimal here. 4 tenths comes here. And the number is 540. So 540. So that is, I hope is very clear, right? But the last one is kind of tricky. 990 tenths. So we are saying 990 tenths. So it should be 99.0. 990 tenths. Does it make sense to you? So go through this video. It's very tricky. And try to understand how we get to write decimal numbers when given in words. It could be confusing at times. 990 tenths. So you could take help of fractions to write decimal numbers. Okay? That will always help you to get the right answer. I hope that helps. Thank you.